Let's have a look at water cycle and carbon cycle feedbacks in more detail. Feedback between the water and carbon cycles. The water and carbon cycles are inextricably linked. Changes in one cycle can affect the other cycle. Let's have a look at some different examples of positive feedback loops. As the increased carbon dioxide warms the atmosphere, evaporation rates increase, creating a wetter atmosphere. Water vapour is a greenhouse gas, so this leads to further warming in a positive feedback loop. There's another example of a positive feedback loop. A positive feedback loop occurs when tundra warms and so releases both carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. The increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere leads to further warming. Another positive feedback loop. Warmer oceans release dissolved carbon dioxide, transferring carbon dioxide into the atmospheric store, releasing greenhouse gases into the, into the atmosphere and leading to further warming. Global warming. Global warming has important implications for life on Earth. Global warming is leading to Arctic ice melting and sea levels rising, increasing flood risk in coastal areas. It is thought that increasing sea temperatures may be linked to the intensity of tropical storms. Changes in rainfall patterns can make areas such as the Sahel uninhabitable. Let's quickly recap those. A positive feedback loop occurs when tundra warms and so releases both carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. The increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere leads to further warming. Warmer oceans release dissolved carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is transferred to the atmospheric store. Greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere and further warming takes place.